Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Physio. What I want to look at in this module is how to use the connectors and how to create your own connectors. So first of all, I've got a basic stencil. I'm just going to bring a rectangle on and then another one. So there are two main types of connector when you first use shapes. And if I put the connector tool on, you can see how these work. So you can see I'm hovering over that shape now. You've got that, like, this little green edge and then that green edge. I'm not actually pointing to one of these connector points where you'll get a, a little square green shape. I want the whole shape. So I'm clicking and dragging and I want the whole shape. That is a point, uh, a shape to shape connector. Click on the pointed tool. What that means is if I move this around, it will always go to the closest point. You can see that happening there. Back to the beginning. Now if I delete that line off, and I'll do that again, but this time I'll go from point to point. So I'll go on to the, that one, and that one. So they are point to point. Take the connector tool off. Now when I move that around, it should still stay and does on that point. No matter where I move it, it will always be glued to that particular point. So those are the two main types of connectors that you can get. Now, every shape that you bring on, um, apart from some shapes in floor plans, which are like cabinets and tables, they don't have any connector points. But all these sort of stencils, where these have all got their own connector points pre-formatted. So if I bring a circle in, for example, and as soon as I connect, click on a connector, hover over the circle, you can see these different points around the outside edges. Same on this one, like so. So they're all pre-formatted. But that doesn't mean you can't add additional ones. Or if you bring a rectangle in, for example, so if I draw a rectangle, like so, when these rectangles, even though I put the connector tool on, don't have any pre-formatted connection points. So I'll just bring another rectangle on. So I've got two rectangles. Now, you can add your own connecting connection points to these or additional ones to these ones you've already got. And this is a tool that you need, this little cross. So you basically have to hold your control key down, position where you want the connection point to be. So if I go there, click your mouse, so that one's on, and then click your mouse onto that one. And then you should be able to go from one to the other with a a line. Now what you've got to be careful of, and I might have not done that on this one, is because that one doesn't look like it's connected. If I just pull this across, it's not connected, I didn't think it was. And But that one is connected. So what's happened here is if I click the little cross on, the little cross is sort of not, it's sitting there on the paper, but not actually connected to this rectangle. So I need to do that again. So move my mouse, get it onto this position, this, and click. Just check that that's stuck to it. Yes, it has. So I can pick that up again. And then just bring that down. And it should connect onto that. Um, I'm not liking that line, so I'm just going to do a different, a new line from scratch. So, connect a line. There's a dot. Connects up. Pointed tool. Stays connected. So, you do have to faff about a little bit with these connector points when you put them on. So, don't go mad-headed and add 10 connector points without checking that they're actually sticking to the shape you're connecting to. So I would suggest that you put them on and just move the shape to see if it's all they're all going to move with it. Then you know they're actually attached to this shape as opposed to just click onto the screen. Now another thing you can do is if I just delete this one now. If I wanted to bang these two together and glue them together like so. They don't actually glue together. They don't connect together like these they're not sticking together, none of these are sticking together. And this is to do with the properties of the connection point. 
So if I click on this shape and put this little X on, you'll see the connection points. And if I right click, this is an inward connection point, and so is that one. So if I right click on that, they're both inward. Now, if you want them to glue together, you need to set them both to inward and outward, which is what I'm going to do there. Inward, outward. So if I then push these up, you should see the little green square there, look, where it's, they're gluing together. Now, if I want to move them now as a pair, I click on the top one, and then I should be able to move them as a pair. If I click on the bottom one and pull, that'll just separate them again. So you connect them up, and then you have to move the top one, not the one that you've moved um, at the bottom in this example. So that's how you glue them together. So these ones, if I right click on these points, I'll put that to inward, and that one inward, outward, and that one to inward, missed, inward, outward. I should then be able to glue these two together on that little point there, there. And then if I want to move the pair, I need to pick up, I need to select this one and then just move that and the pair of them go. So the chances of you doing that in this type of flowchart diagram are quite small really, but where that would come in place is where you are trying to attach furniture to a wall in a floor plan diagram maybe, and you need to make sure they stick together so when you move the wall, the furniture moves with it. Or if you're putting things on top of something else and you want them to stick together, you can use layers. I've mentioned layers before. Or you can use these connection points and just uh, um, glue them together with the inward, outward joins. But that's all I wanted to show you in this little bit. Just a little overview of the connection types. To see them, though, you need to have that selected. Normally, you would have the pointer tool selected. And with the pointer tool selected, you don't actually see where the connections are until you hover over the shape with your mouse so two uses of that really show me all the connection points and also allow me to use uh, to create extra connection points with the control key but that's it and i'll see you on the next one